there's a real reason Rajon Rondo will fail at what he's trying to do now. When players retire, they move on to another project, but something Rondo did as a player will haunt him. His talent was so big that he has more playoff assists than Steve Nash and Steph Curry, but his attitude was so bad. Reports say Doc Rivers left Boston just to escape Rondo. In high school, he would ignore his coach's play calls. I don't care that you're watching the game. I'm out here and I'm feeling the game. So basically, I know better than you do, coach. And he actually did. Rondo might have the highest basketball IQ of all time. Despite being a horrible student, he viewed classmates as competition, studied math flashcards to get better than everyone. But when it came to class, he was bored. His AP geometry teacher would catch Rondo sleeping, but then he would ace the test. So the teacher figured Rondo's cheating. So he gave him different tests than everyone else, but he got A's on those too. Rondo spent two years at Kentucky and was a late first round pick by Boston. When they traded for Kevin Garnett, Rondo's job was in question. I mean, he was a second year player on a super team, but KG could see the talent and vouched for him. As a Celtic, Rondo became known as one of the best passers in the league. He was not only the assist leader, but had high IQ vision, always knowing where his teammates were. He was an old school point guard, not score first, but he would dunk on people if he had to. He made the all-star team four straight seasons, all defense four times, and won the 08 chip. But his high IQ? started to backfire. But first, today's sponsor is so rare. We are at over 1,300 people in my private NBA league. You can click the link to join for free. It's in the description. But the winner of my limited contender tournament, Blackout 66, dude won a $100 NBA gift card, but there is one more chance for any of you to win this regular season. So Rare is a fantasy sports game in a marketplace with officially licensed digital player cards from the NBA. I just set my lineup and it's Brandon Ingram as my MVP with Jalen Brown, Bradley Beal, Dennis Schroeder, and John Conchar. But if you wanna win that last $100 NBA gift card of this regular season, it is for week 48, which is coming up. But you have to join my limited contender tournament. So use the link in the description to sign up for So Rare. Join my So Rare NBA Private League, and if you sign up using the link, you'll receive 20 free common cards to help you get started. Then you can enter a common pickup tournament, or if you want a chance at prizes, then join the limited contender tournament. Again, use the link in the description to get started today. He and Doc Rivers got in huge fights about running the team. It was so bad, Rondo would cry after arguments. One time he was ignoring Doc during a film session and Doc shouted, bro, watch the film. So Rondo stood up, F that film, and he threw a water bottle breaking the TV screen. He was one of the smartest players Doc ever had, but was impossible to coach. Bored in the regular season, but turned it on in the postseason, which gave birth to playoff Rondo. In 2010 against LeBron and the Cavs, he dropped 29 points, 13 assists, and 18 boards. They beat LeBron so bad he left to Miami. But 2012 in Miami, Rondo dropped 44 points, 10 assists, and eight boards in the conference finals. In the regular season though, it would take something really unusual to get Rondo excited. Like, I don't know, Lynn Sanity? Jeremy Lin took over the NBA in 2012, averaged 25 points in nine games, hitting clutch shots. The Knicks went eight and one, but five games later, Rondo took that personally. He dropped 18 points, 20 assists, and 17 boards. But with the Celtics aging, they traded Paul Pierce and KG to the Nets and eventually dealt Rondo to Dallas. But with the Mavericks, his attitude turned everyone in the franchise against him. Rick Carlisle and Rondo had one of the nastiest in-game arguments of all time. Before the trade, Dallas was 19 and eight with the NBA's most efficient offense. After, they were 19 and 12 with Rondo slumping. In a game against Toronto, Rondo once again ignored his coach's play call. When it failed, Carlisle called a timeout and yelled, I'll effing call the plays. So Rondo shouts at the coach who tells him to sit the F down. But you don't talk to millionaire players like that in the NBA, unless you're Greg Popovich. Rondo's backup, Devin Harris, led Dallas to a comeback win. 
But during the playoffs, Orondo got his payback. He was so upset, he quit during a game. He nonchalantly dribbled the ball up the court and got an unforced eight second violation. That's awful in the regular season, but the playoffs? Dallas was so upset, they cut him after that game and his own teammates voted to not give him his playoff bonus. So he bounced around playing on five teams in five years, but now his teammates were the enemy. The Bulls lost an embarrassing game, dropping a 10 point lead in the final minutes. Jimmy Butler and Dwayne Wade ripped their young teammates, telling the media, it just doesn't mean enough to guys around here. And I wanna play with guys who care, but Rondo went against them. My vets would never go to the media. They would come to the team. My vets played for the team. When we lost, they wouldn't blame us. Which seems cool, Rondo sticking up for the young guys. But after they lost in the first round, the Bulls chose to move Rondo because the situation was toxic. Which is nothing compared to how he treated Ray Allen. Ray taught Rondo how to be a pro when he was young. But as he got older, his attitude changed. In 2009, there was a rumor that Ray and Rondo would get traded to the Suns. So Allen called Rondo to ask if he would please just iron things out with Doc Rivers and the GM. The plan worked, but it deeply offended Rondo. He held on to that anger, and then it blew up. Rondo yelled at Ray, I carried all of you to the championship in 2008. The rest of the team said, you what? So Rondo accused all his teammates of hating him. His proof was telling Ray, you told me I was the reason we were gonna get traded. Ray said, no, I was just telling you what I heard. But Rondo didn't wanna hear that. He made his mind up and he was furious. It got so bad, Rondo stopped passing to Ray. Ray Allen. It led to another argument where Rondo accused Allen of being jealous of him and Ray said, jealous of what? Stop BSing everyone on the team. Play every night instead of when you choose to play. So Rondo told Ray, I'm gonna get your ass out of here this summer. Ray said, that's no problem. I'm leaving anyway. They have not talked since that fight. Even when they have reunions of the 08 team, Allen isn't invited because he chose to join the rival Heat. But every member of the roster has forgiven even Ray, except Rondo. In his later years, Rondo improved as a teammate and he was huge for the Lakers in the bubble winning the chip. He mentored guys like Darius Garland in Cleveland, but that was the last team he played for. This summer, photos started surfacing of Rondo in class again at Kentucky finishing his degree, but rumors say he is about to join the UK coaching staff next year. It makes sense that John Calipari wants maybe the highest IQ player as an assistant coach, but does he have the right attitude for that job? A lot of smart players have not worked out as coaches, but the number one issue is getting along with players and others on the staff. But why is a guy who supposedly became a great veteran leader and has a high IQ not in a locker room? Maybe it has to do with the most disturbing report we have ever seen from Rondo. Last off season, while he was looking for a new team, Rondo allegedly pulled a gun on his kids and their mother. The woman says at one point he was yelling and cursing at both children, demanding to know why they were scared of him and effectively holding them at gunpoint. She didn't call police, but instead called a friend to not piss off Rondo. She did file a restraining order though, and he had to give up his gun. A lot of people are suspicious of women who make claims like this because they could benefit financially, but it's weird that she never made a police report. All we know is that the NBA said they'll investigate. That might be the reason no NBA team wanted to take a chance and why Kentucky hasn't formally hired him as a coach. Either way, dude's got a ton of red flags in his career that make you wonder if coaching is actually the right move. One guy he did mentor was Austin Reeves on the Lakers. Austin thought that LeBron had a high basketball IQ. He was blown away by Rondo. And he is a big reason that Austin went from a skinny white kid to a Lakers star. Check it out.